Oh my goodness, look at that, so easy. Butter in our bacon. Now let's go over here and we got three chicken breasts and we're gonna skewer them because they're gonna cook faster. There you go. Now let's put our seasoning. I got some roast chicken seasoning. Season all this beautiful chicken. This is some garlic and herb seasoning, that good stuff. We wanna make sure we put a lot so it's gonna be nice and flavorful, just like that, okay? And now we're simply gonna cook this until at 350, until it's nice and moist. Now, over here, our butter is melting. There you go. And we can start putting some red onions, okay? There you go. We got half a red, one full onion in there. Yes, that's one full onion chopped in there. Okay? There you go. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be amazing. Gotta stay tuned for this, okay? Look at that, crispy bacon, onion, butters, boom. There you go. Now that we got this in, we're gonna put a little bit of carrots. Yes, yes sir. We need carrots for this recipe. You know, if you know where I'm going, you, you, you know this is gonna be good. You know this is gonna be good. We got all the things, we're making all the things right today. There you go. For the healthy part, celery, celery. Come on, you can guess, you can guess what I'm doing. You can guess what I'm doing. I believe in you. I believe in you. There you go. And we stir that in, just like that, okay? Now this is the easiest way to make a super famous recipe that we all love, okay? Now a little bit of pepper. Boom, 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 fresh grounded, so it's nice with the real flavor, okay? And a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Boom, because we got that bacon in there, that's nice. After five minutes, look how nice and delicious this is look, okay? This is looking incredibly sharp. Now it's time to add our garlic. We have just two garlic cloves. When we want to add it later, because the garlic won't burn, you know, it will just get nice and roasted, but without burning, okay? Just giving that nice flavor. There you go, fold that in, Boot beautiful. Garlic in, all right? Now, we're gonna add our peas, some sweet peas, okay? They're gonna add the full pack here. It's about one cup, there you go. There you go, all that cup in there, sweet peas. Okay, you wanna put them last so they don't kinda mush together and they stay nice, you know, nice with the shape so everything looks nice. As you can see, this is looking super beautiful. I could eat this right now all by myself without going any further. But we gotta make something more delicious. So wait, wait to see the results is gonna be worth it. Now, about half a cup of flour, okay? This is just some regular flour. Let's put all the flour in there. Okay, spread it all around. Just like that. There you go, make sure it's spread it everywhere. And this is gonna make it, you know, all nice and thick. Perfect, our chicken is almost ready, you know. As, as I told you, you know, this is the recipe that flows, you see. You put the chicken in, you do all, you do this, there you go. And then you're ready for the, for the results. Now, chicken broth, that's right, chicken broth. Okay, unfortunately, they didn't have the low sodium one, so, but this is what we're gonna use. So we wanna cover, you know, about cover everything here, cause the flour is gonna make it thick, okay? So we're gonna go, you know, we're gonna see how much we need, okay? Because after this boils, all the flour is gonna no, turn thick, you know? Okay, and this is the consistency you want, you see? Nice, thick, creamy, not dry, and not liquidy. Perfect. And in the meantime, then this got done, our chicken is ready, look at this. Nice, tender, juicy, 
perfectly cooking in the center with no stick, okay? Perfect, now we're gonna take one piece of chicken and I have this special tool here, okay? And that is the chicken shredder, ladies and gentlemen, you see? So we're gonna help it out and kinda maybe, there you go, shred it in two pieces. And now you simply put the lid on, There you go. And two moves. There you go. Look at this perfectly shredded chicken. There you go. No more mess in your kitchen. You see, these we can use later. And now we take this chicken here. Look at that. Boom. We pop that all in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put the other chicken in there and I'll see you in one second. Perfect! There you go, all our chicken is nice and shredded. Look at this masterpiece. Oh my goodness, let's pour it all over. And now we're gonna simply incorporate it with our beautiful and incredible um, vegetables here with the bacon as well. And I like a lot of chicken in my chicken pot pie, but you can put a little bit less, as you can see, you know, it's very, very chickeny, because, I mean, sometimes I went to the restaurant, get the chicken pot pie, because I want to try how the restaurant make it, and they put all vegetables, and, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm feel I want some protein today, but they, get they only gave me vegetables. Look at this beauty. Perfect. Now, there you go, you see, over here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Boom, just a little bit. And with a paper thing, we're gonna cut. You can use Spam if you want, but this is a very homemade and natural recipe. So I'm just doing the traditional way with some olive oil. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we just pour all this goodness in there, see? Just like that, ooh! Oh, man! Now that's a chicken pot pie, all right? What, what you see all around is just pot pie. There's no chicken in it. That's a chicken pot pie, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, you see? It's still full of veggies though. Perfect, look at that. This is the perfect creaminess you want. Woo! There you go, nice and spread it all in there. Perfect, now, we're simply gonna set this aside for one second and we're gonna grab our puff pastry. Yes, just some puff pastry. We're gonna take one sheet of this puff pastry here, okay? Remove this and we simply, with a knife or with a pizza cutter, we're just gonna cut a little bit of, of, of like some, you know, it doesn't matter if they're perfect, just some, you know, just a little bit of uh, rectangle shape, okay? You can do rectangles, or you can do squares, whatever, okay? And after we have this, we're gonna start by putting those, just like that, a little bit everywhere. And the trick to make this pie look beautiful in put, is put them irregular, okay? That's why it looks like so, it's, it is homemade, homemade and it looks homemade. See, we're just gonna put them very irregularly all around, you know, just have fun. Just have your kids come and help, help you with this. Cause that's the beauty of the homemade, you know, just a little bit all around, however it comes, it comes. It is what it is. Perfect, oh my goodness, there you go. So, and now we take a brush and we're gonna gently brush all this beautiful puff pastry with a little bit of the egg, just like that. We just need one egg really, okay? We, you know, we, you don't need a lot. It's just to give it a nice shine, you know, and to help it rise even more. There you go, spread all that. Perfect. Let me know if that's how you make your uh, chicken pot pie. I know this is a more like a modern version. It's still like very traditional and homemade, but it has, it's like a modern version because it has a little bit of bacon. And also we're using puff pastry instead of like, like pie crust, you know? 
it's just it's just a different style it's a little bit you know more more crispy and less kind of less doy just like that perfect that looks stunning guys all right and just as simply as that we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for only 25 to 35 min minutes all right depending on your oven guys this is so easy i can't wait to try it it's gonna be so good all right i see so wow look at this look at this goodness here this looks stunning oh my goodness look at that so easy so home style you know so delicious so simple let's grab a bite right now here let's grab look at the crunch nice and crispy easily shareable with your family friends look at that full of chicken i huh? remember that's what i call chicken pot pie okay let's grab our beautiful uh whatever this is called and <laughs> we're gonna put this look at that oh my goodness nice steep it holds together you know look at that it doesn't stick in the pan this is perfect let's grab a nice fork spoon oh my goodness check this out all the chicken and the goodness there you go there we go there you go let me grab that boom perfect Mmm. Yes, sir. Wow. I'm crying. For. Protein, veggies, everything you can ever ask for. And it tastes so good. So crispy, delicious. Mmm. Yummy. Wow. It's so easy.